banana lovers. This is Sam the Fuga Huga Gardener. I'm standing here in front of my dwarf Cavendish that has a nice rack on it. Actually, it has a couple nice racks on it. And people want to know how do I get my racks so big? How do the bananas ripen and get so plump? I did a lot of videos on this, so this is a short. This is how I do it. Okay, right over here, I got some nice compost tea that I make out of Mexican sunflower. The videos are down below. Just search my channel and you will find making compost tea fertilizer. Now my banana plants, you can see they love it. I clump my banana plants on purpose because I got one rack, two racks, three racks, And another rack coming in right here. Now there's a lot of banana growers that say just leave the parent plant and two pups to replace the parent plant. And I believe in that. And I have some banana plants where I do that. But the majority of my banana plants are for landscaping. And as you can see, if I did that, I would have one rack This nice will get nice and plump, nice and ripe in this space right here. But by doing what I do, I got one rack, two rack, three racks, four racks, and maybe another one coming out. So that's four times the amount of bananas in this little space right here. Now the secret to that is not only the way that I compost the beds to plant. But it's, I go around and fertilize just like this. Okay, so I have a five gallon bucket that I'm gonna fill up with compost tea. Okay, so if you want to see how I make the compost tea and how I dilute it and so forth, there's other videos and there's a link down below. You could just search my channel and you'll see how I do that. This is just how I get my banana racks and clumps to produce well. Okay, as you can tell, I take a five gallon bucket filled with the compost tea and I put a little bit on all sides of my banana clump. And as a result, I have nice racks coming in, like over there, all the way around, which has been giving me four. Time, well, on this plant four times the amount of bananas in a little small area now if I didn't have the good compost and I didn't go ahead and put five gallons on it every few months or less 
especially when it's fruiting. Maybe I wouldn't have the clump producing as well. I don't know because I go around and I fertilize with compost tea and I get nice racks and I owe it all or contributed to the compost tea that I make. So anyway, this is a short video on how I go ahead and fertilize my banana plants or a clump of bananas and all my fruit trees around the property. For a more detailed video on how I make the compost tea and so forth, just search my video. I got a bunch of videos on making compost tea. With that said, hey, I hope you enjoyed my little short video. This is Sam the Frugal Hugo Gardener. Give me a like. Give me a share. Come on over to my Facebook page. Come on over to my Facebook banana group. It's called Florida Banana Lovers. The link is down below. See you there. Say what? No, that can't be true. Clumps produce small racks, less fruit, less hands, less fingers. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I read that. But I proved it wrong. What? No. No way. Okay, well, hey, you know I like to put bonus footage on the end of my videos. So let's just go ahead and see how many racks I have on a clump and how the racks are producing. I contributed to proper bed preparation and proper fertilizing. And by the way, I'm not a commercial grower. I'm a homeowner that has a farm that's incorporating my banana plants in my landscaping. And clumping banana plants look better for a tropical landscape and look. However, let's see if clumping banana plants produce good fruit. Even though I did a myth busted video on that last year or the year before, it's down somewhere, do a search. Let's let's just take a little quick look and see if it's true or not. Okay, so here's a rack coming in. Okay, that rack, that rack looks pretty good to me. Okay, so here's another rack. Right up here. Okay, that rack up there is filling in nicely. Okay, here's another rack. So far we're up to three. Okay, that rack is looking good. Let's look at this one. Here's another rack. Now I hit this rack with the trailer. So it kind of damaged the uh, stalk on it. But hey, it's still doing good. Let's come over here. Now here's another rack. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that one's doing good. Now right up over here is another rack. Let's see how good that's doing. Seems like that one's doing good. And if we come over here somewhere, where is it? Okay, right over here, I see another one starting to come in. Got the pollinators eating the nectar right now. But this rack looks like it's coming in nicely so far.
Okay, so you see my point. Let's go take a look at a couple others. Okay, so right over here is a nice banana rack. It's filling in. It'll be ripening. Look at that frog down in there. I have frogs all over my racks. So, this one here is filling in really nicely. The bananas are nice and plump. They're starting to get round. This should be ready to harvest soon. Okay, so right over here is another rack. It's filling in nicely. The, the hands look good. The fingers look good. They still got to plump up and get round. But that's looking nicely. Okay, so there's two nice ones on this one. By the way, all these we've just been looking at a Blue Java. So let's take a look at this one. Right over here. Looks to be like a decent wreck. I like it. And I harvest it. I just harvest it one off of there. Okay. So right over here is another rack coming in. Seems to be a nice rack. Okay, let's go around right here. Okay, so right over here is another rack. Seems to be coming in nicely. Here's one hidden way up there. This seems to be a nice rack. Right up here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Here's another rack right here. This rack here seems to be coming in pretty good. And let's come over here. Okay, so here's another rack. Seems to be doing really well. Okay, so the point that I'm making, and I'm going to go around to a few more maybe and show you how plump. When banana plants first come in, when the bud shoots out and it's still cold outside, maybe a frost or low temperatures, that bud produces blossoms. And it's not going to do, the odds are it's not going to do that well. So cut it off. And all the buds that come in after the cold spell and your last frost, all those buds are going to come in and produce nice hands, nice blossoms, and do really great. Well, a few of these, the bud did come out right at the borderline of a cold spell we had. So I left some of them on, cut some of them off. But that determines whether or not the rack is going to be big. I mean, it, it definitely is affected by the weather. So those first that come in during the cold spell are just genetically, it's just, they're just going to be a little smaller. Remember, it goes by zone. People all the way down, Miami, 10, you know, all that. They're spoiled because they always have good weather. Well, down here on the northern side, we do have freezes. We do have cold spell and we have microclimate. So everything plays a factor. But for the most part, 
my clumping banana plants where the bud comes out after the last frost and freeze or cold spell they all do good so in that little space right there I could have one parent plant and two pups and get one rack or I could have four or five pretty decent sized racks so in my opinion I rather have four or five racks in my freezer than just that one rack so with that said let's go check out a few that are nice and plump okay so here's a rack coming in it looks pretty good now if I go around to this side here's another rack coming in I think that one looks pretty good. Okay, so there's two on that one. Um, you know, what can you do? So let's go check out some more. Okay, so here's a rack filling in nicely right over here. Here's another rack. This one here is filling in nicely. If we come around to this side, here's a rack right here that is filling in nicely. They're getting plump. That one there is going to ripen pretty soon. Okay, so that concludes my bonus footage. I just wanted to show that it is possible to grow multiple racks on a clump of bananas. If you're not a commercial grower and you're doing it for your home use and you have a small yard, if you grow a clump, fertilize it, grow it in the proper compost, fertilize it properly, you could have one rack a season or you can have a clump and have four or five racks where you would normally just have one. That's the point that I'm making. And since it's my property and my banana plants, I prefer to grow multiple racks within a certain area that I have my banana plant in. And I like the tropical look of having banana plants around that are clumping. So if in itself a banana plant was ornamental that doesn't bear fruit, I love the look. But the plus side is you're gonna get fruit off of your banana plants and have a really good, nice tropical look. Well, that's what I'm into. I want a tropical look. I want fruit and banana plants. I want to fill up my chest freezer so I can have bananas throughout the whole season until next season. And our season is from April all the way till December, maybe January. Now, the ones that start producing in the end of December and January, maybe February or March, those are the ones that are going to get hit by a cold spell, hit by a frost. So that's the period in between where any bud or blossoms that come out, or even if they went ahead and formed a rack and they're still real small, they're going to get hit. They're going to get hit hard. They're going to brown. You should just cut it down and let a new bud come out. That's going to turn into a nice rack. Produce nice, healthy banana plants. So, hey, to each their own. I'm showing you what could be done. And then it's up to you to do what you want to do on your property. So, with that said, hey, hope to see you soon.